My name's Sam Handley. I'm a director at Swift Tool Precision Engineering in Nottinghamshire. Our company supplies high integrity precision machine parts, kits, assemblies, components into um, tier one and global customers, primarily in the nuclear, defence, aerospace, oil and gas, and most recently medical markets. We supply to the likes of Rolls Royce Aerospace, Rolls Royce Nuclear, Baker Hughes, um, Megat, Bombardier, etc. So the prime customers. Our company's mission is to be ultimately the number one precision machining company in the UK in the SME market and therefore agility specifically in these times is absolutely key for us. Customers expect a short lead time and with us having the additive manufacturing we can improve our programmes and processes before actually manufacturing the part, bringing down lead times and improving our efficiencies. We want to be ahead of the competition so having additive manufacturing has put us that one step closer to being able to achieve that. We decided to choose SYS as a, a company to join, join forces with. We ended up going down the route of the 4 to 450 MC. The reason being is we managed to get the hardened head for it and we are looking for strength in our prints. With having the hardened head, we can print in the nylon CF materials. Repeatability is a key thing for us within SPE. Um, one of the issues we have had in the past is work holding on the CMM machines. With additive manufacturing, we've now managed to make a fixture that's more, re more repeatable and a quicker setup. The Fortis has met all our requirements, and if not more, we've realised now that we can free up a lot more capacity on our machines. One thing we have realised getting the printer is how quick we can go from prototype fixture to printed fixture. Before getting the 3D printer, certain fixtures have to go through our system so that there'd be a batch card raised, a programme made, and there's also like capacity issues on the machine. Now we have the Fortis on site, we, we have the opportunity to print these fixtures overnight. Our efficiencies have improved and the repeatability of some of our work holding has improved drastically. We've saved eight hours over a batch of 50, which is a full shift. We know it's quite unusual for an SME of our size to invest in polymer printing in the middle of a global pandemic. However, what we're doing is what we've always done. We take advantage of an opportunity to make sure that we are absolutely razor sharp focused on the future and the downturn. So when everything is back to normal, we'll be ahead of our competition. Our intentions to expand with additive manufacturing. Uh, we're already well on our way in terms of digitalisation piece, so this is a huge big hitter for us in the next few years. Basically we're going to progress from polymer to metal powders, so this is our first step and it's something that we're really proud of as a company. I think myself and a fair few other guys within the factory were surprised at how quick we did learn the software. We're getting our apprentices on board now, uh, we've got a couple of those guys running projects from design to actually manufacture. And again, this is something we couldn't really do beforehand because the capacity on the machines is full with jobs to keep the company going. For anybody looking at 3D printing and additive manufacturing, I would strongly recommend going to see SYS and seeing what they're really about. Because a business, we were quite sceptical at the beginning, thinking this could be quite expensive, especially on the material side of things, but now it's installed and we're actually running, we can't believe how cheap it is and the return on investment that we're gaining at such a short time. A lot of our work we, we do is one-offs, two-offs for that job. Bringing the printer in makes it cost-effective now as we can print unmanned overnight and if we need it again we can just pull the file up, pull the tray up, press print and we can have another one made in hours. We believe as a company that we always have to push the limits of innovation and we know that by doing that we can always keep the competitive edge that's kept our company so healthy since 1977. So for our business, making sure that we're part of the right R&D projects and obviously the acquisition and investment into 3D, what we can do as a company is prepare both our existing workforce, our future workforce and our apprentices to make sure that we fully understand and can utilise the benefits of additive manufacturing, obviously this year, next year, and to keep our business secure for the future.